Good afternoon, Vice. Today we're going to talk about the senior signings. I'm Cameron. I'm Sydney, and your news starts now. FCCLA members, don't forget, your gifts for your adopted families need to be turned in tomorrow. Leadership is holding a drive to help raise supplies for Helping Hands Humane Society. Bring in items from the wish list to E14 and fill out a form. Last day to turn in items is December 15th. There will be a Christmas sweater dance tomorrow after the basketball game. Come out to North Nook Friday during the basketball game. All regular, all regular price merchandise is 15% off. Doors open at 5. Seaman Orchestra will be hosting a catered dinner from Olive Garden on December 14th from 5.30 to 6.30 in the SHS Commons. Price is $10 for adults and $4 for children. To order tickets, please email Mariah Barnett. Viking Brew is selling t-shirts for $15 through the December 15th. Pay the bank and bring your receipt to Miss Averill in W10. Also, the Viking Brew is announcing the release of new Christmas flavors for the holidays. The new flavors begin this Friday, December 8th. If you're struggling to get some money for college, visit the SHS Counseling Center Scholarship webpage. Scholarships are listed by due date. All have links to applications. Now after the break, we'll go over to the sports. This week during lunch, the leadership class will be selling sweet, sincere, or prank Christmas gifts. Come pick up yours for $1. All proceeds go to the leadership class. Dashing through the snow. Ethan, what are you doing, man? I'm getting ready for this Friday. What's that? It's an ugly sweater dance. What do I need to bring? Well, that's my ugly sweater. Hey. The ugly sweater dance is going to be this Friday, December 8th, from 9.30 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. in the Commons. Make sure to bring your ugly sweater for the basketball game, too, because that's also the theme. Topeka's Tennis Association has scholarships available for high school tennis players. The scholarships pay for lessons and clinics. If you're interested in applying for these scholarships, please stop by the athletic department before December 15th. Lane's back with another segment about seniors who have signed to go play sports. Let's go hear more about it. Hey Vikes, welcome to another edition of Senior Signings where we will highlight the seniors that have signed to play a sport or activity. Our first subject for today will be Lauren Mills who has decided to play softball at Wichita State University. Oh, I feel great. Everything about it is just awesome. I can't ask for a better school to go to, and I can't wait to just start. Well, I chose Wichita State because mainly it was away from my family, but close to another part of my family down in Wichita. And the campus is beautiful. I love walking on it each time, and the softball field is amazing. I just love everything about it. Lauren has had many good memories, but there's nothing greater than winning a title. Uh, my most memorable moment in high school was when we won state. Um, everyone, I even though I didn't play on the field, I still got to bat, and just being there doing a job, it was awesome. And I just loved that we won the game and that I was be able to, to be a part of that. Lauren has some great advice for future softballers. I would have to say that it is a hard sport to. Master, you have to, over years, you, over the years, you have to work and you have to make sure everything's perfect. If anybody wants to play in college, I would say to just contact coaches like crazy, go to their camps, get yourself out there, and be the, the most memorable person in that camp if you have to. Lauren has received great national recognition and is one of the best softballers in the state. Congrats to Lauren. Our next subject is Zeke Metz, who has decided to do swimming at the University of Wisconsin-Green Bay. 
Um, I'm super, super happy. Um, I feel like it's going to be a great opportunity, and I feel like I made the right choice. Uh, I chose Green Bay because I really like the team. Uh, the academic side was really nice, and uh, I love Wisconsin. It's a really pretty state. Zeke has had many memorable moments with swimming, but none greater than winning a title. Uh, the most memorable moment of my swimming career would have to be uh, coming back last year at state and uh, finally getting the title in the 500 free, uh, beating out the defending state champion. Uh, that was probably the best moment that I've had in my swimming career so far. Zeke also has some great advice for future swimmers. I would definitely say uh, listen to your coaches and uh, because they do know best and they are always out for your best interest. Along with many school records, Zeke has broken many city records and Centennial League records. He is also ranked the second best swimmer in the state. If you see Lauren and Zeke in the hallway, make sure to congratulate them on their signings. Now back to the sports. If you see Lauren Mills and Zeke Metz, make sure to congratulate them. Now over to Cameron for the weather. It is currently 35 and tonight will be 20. Your 3D forecast consists of highs in the 40s, lows in the 30s. Today is John Terry's birthday and National Cotton Candy Day. Now back over to your anchors. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Make sure to wear your ugly sweater tomorrow.